Wait. So, how's Project Winning Fizzback going? Well, you've not heard anything back from those sexy centre. Yeah, I got a tax this morning. Mm. Hope's got a bit of a sniffle, so she's keeping her at home. At least she's telling me stuff like that. I mean, that's got to be something, hasn't it? Yeah, well, I've told you before, if you want to win her back, you've got to do more than bob the odd text. I don't know what I've got to do. It's been staring me in the face the whole time. I've just been trying to avoid it. Come on, Joseph, let's get moving. Don't pick it! Blow it! Oh. Thanks for this, Fizz. It must be coming down with the same cold as old. Oh, Ooh. come on, she's through there. You can turn the house into a sick bay. How oh. are you, anyway? Yeah, me, I'm fine. Yeah. Are you sure? You don't look it. Mummy was crying earlier. Yeah, well, I saw something sad on Lorraine. Apparently, peplums are coming back in. <clears throat> you don't have to lie to me. Just not in front of the kids, eh? All right, well, promise me we'll speak about it later. Yes! Pinky promise. Come on. What does it even mean, anyway? Well, in Legally Blonde. It exactly. Meant... It's American. Who cares? Right. I'd best get off. I'll see you, y'all. Right, then. What crazy antics are we going to get up to today, then? Eh? When's Daddy coming back from his sleepover? What? What's that? When's he coming back? Um... Uh, is it all right if I come through? Hi, oh, right. I was about to knock and Chesney opened the portals, as it were. Yeah, look who it is, kids. It's Uncle Roy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking I might nip into town, get a little present for Robin. Who's Robin? Martin's partner. Well, I don't trust anybody who's named after a Christmas bird. I've seen this gorgeous little boutique shop and it's got these kits in it for, you know, mums to be and it's got a little candle and some massage. Yeah, I think you're confusing me with someone who cares. Well, I was hoping you were going to chip in. Why would I want to be spending money on a woman who's going to give birth to a kid that I'm never going to meet? Because that kid is going to be your half-brother or sister. Yeah, and they're all moving to the other side of the world without any consultation with Muggins here. Yeah, well, it's not the kid's fault, is it? You can't punish it just because you hacked off with Martin. They've only just announced she's pregnant. Anything could happen. It's not over till the fat lady gives birth, is it? <laughs> I need to tell her for Theresa May. Theresa May? No, it's the first name of her classroom assistant. She's taking a lot of them to Martin Mayer. Right, well, let's check the cash point, shall we? Ooh, you call Shona's coat a cash point. She's always got a screwed up fibre on. Even better, <laughs> oh. jackpot. Oh, wow, I'm going to have to remember this. I don't suppose there's any in there for me, is there? I've got presents to buy. Well, let's take a look. <laughs> What's this? What? Kylie's necklace. I think somebody's got some explaining to do, young lady. All I'm saying is... I know is... what you're saying, Roy, but after everything he's done to me, how can I forgive all that? It's unforgivable. What are you doing? I'm not meant to say it. What? Promise you won't tell? Uh, one sec, Roy. They're a bit quiet out there. Let me see what they're doing. Back it was magic, you see. I've flown down from the top of the stairs. Really? Yes. Let's take oh, and Things kids say. Oh, yeah, well, down. indeed. Do you know, by the time I was seven, I knew the whole of Albert and the Lion by heart. Who were they? Actually, apologies. The, the correct title is The Lion and Albert comic monologue made famous by Stanley Holloway. I used to recite it at family get-togethers. Uh, drove certain factions of the family to distraction. <laughs> you won't be able to do it because you don't know how. Show me. No. Oh, go on. Still remember every word. Oh, that's great. The, the lion at Albert in the end. <laughs> oh, fun for all the family. I don't suppose you care to... Oh, Roy, not right no. now. Oh, is that all right? I don't mean to be rude. I take no offence. Oh. Actually, I, I should be going. OK. Yeah. 
Perhaps I might bore someone in the cafe with it. I'm quite sure you won't bore anyone, Roy. Come on, I'll see you out. I just wish there was something practical that, that I could do. Thanks. Oh, I meant to text you. Uh, Lily has a day out at Martin Mir, is that what it's called? Anyway, uh, she needs a tenner for what's the chops. Yeah, don't keep secrets with my daughter. Hey. Lily's told me everything. Oh, OK, she asked me not to tell you, so I just... Well, don't make deals with her. OK, fair enough. I don't want to turn it out like Clayton, do I? Oh, OK, so now I'm a bad mother. Now? Well, let's look at the evidence, shall we? Yeah, well, at least I've been giving it a go while you've been off being one of the lads. Someone's had to be some sort of parent to her. I can do what I want. Oh, really, can you now? Yeah, I can, actually. All right. Well, don't throw it back in my face when all I've been trying to do is the right thing. Yeah, and then we're going to need a doctor. <laughs> what, to be the match? To be ringside, yeah. Ah, I know. Good doc. I'll have a word. <sighs> Come on, mate. They just read the same in the body, yeah? Yesterday it means a lot to all you. Yeah, well, that idea had an alibi. Oh, yeah, they've always got an alibi. <coughs> I used to think that was pronounced the Libby. <laughs> All right, come on, no slacking. No, it doesn't help me next to He Man over there. I always like to be stronger than the competition. <sighs> How, uh, how's the new business going, by the way? Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> right, time to step it up, yeah? Come on, Z. Oh, do you know what? Bring it on. Zay, no, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> Zay, you all right, mate? Zay, you okay? What's happening? <sighs> Omelette and chips. Mm. Oh, sorry, I asked for it without chips. Well, they're there now. Oh, yeah, well, no, that's fine. Look on them as a gift. Well, you could have gift wrapped them. <laughs> <laughs> She's in a vile mood. You want a selfie with me? I charge. You all right? Well, I thought it was until your brother came in. Oh, you've seen him? Mm, yeah, and guess who's in the doghouse? Is he fuming? Well, I thought I was going to tell him about the necklace, but I didn't see any harm in letting Lily save face. I thought it was doing a good thing. Yes, but David's twisted, and he doesn't see things like normal people do. Yeah, but Lily knew what she did was wrong. She was so upset about breaking her mum's necklace, she was in bits. Mm. David's out of his depth. Mm. And guess who gets the brunt of it? Oh, that'll be me. Oh, just leave him to calm down. Just give him a bit of space, he'll be fine. Oh, I'll give him space, all right. I will boot him into space on a one-way ticket. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. I've changed it, so I'll, I'll see you Tuesday. All right, bye-bye. <sighs> Maria, I shouldn't be too long with your Gary Baldies. Right, where were we? Let's get you looking a million dollars for your golden wedding. Where are you having it again? Slow boat to China. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Oi, oi. All right, lad. I'll have to uh, cut and chat, I'm afraid. A bit busy. You're on half day if my memory serves me right. Yeah, what's that mean? You're going to lead me astray? Uh, I think that's what you do to me. <laughs> yeah, right, you wish. Anyway, just thought you might, might sink a few in town. Yeah? Huh? All right, do you want to bring some mates? Maybe make a lad's night of it? Yeah, yeah, will do. I'll text you. All right. Leave you to making this one beautiful, which, believe me, will not take long. <laughs> See you in a bit. The, uh, the sweet talker, isn't he? Oh, I'm actually in the assertion now. Oh! Yeah, where are you now? Chip up, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> so you trespassing. <laughs> Cripes and stripes. What's happened here? Uh, a bit of more than they could chew the set of weeks. Mm. Well, take a seat. So sorry about the noise. Come on, then. They've been going at it, hammer and tongs, since I clocked on five minutes ago. We're not working down pit, Elizabeth. We do not clock on. Oh. Well, it was one of them, the doctor. The one with the deeper voice. Just try and relax. What on who's he rowing with? No idea, but to tell you the truth, whoever it is, they're not on the list. According to this, he's not got another patient for at least ten minutes.
All right, I feel like I'm in a zoo. I hate zoos. Oh, because of animal rights? I just don't like anywhere where heels don't work. Um. <clears throat> Have you booked yourself in for any antenatal classes yet? You what? No, I was just wondering if you'd booked yourself in for any antenatal classes. No. Oh, has the midwife not mentioned them yet? I thought she would have done. Nope. Has she mentioned hypnobirthing classes? Babes, I can't think of anything worse. Is that not just full of folk who only eat mung beans? No, no, not at all. Or they'll only eat brown bread. Ugh. I'm the only single person there. Well, I could come with you. Do you think that everyone would think we were gay? <laughs> <sighs> Amazing. Think about it. Do you not think people are going to think it's a bit weird if we're disappearing at the same time every week? No, people aren't that nosy. People are that nosy, Taya. Well, at least say you'll think about it. Yeah, all right, I'll think about it. <sighs> I will, I promise. Z got a grind strain. Imagine how painful that must be. Oi, part timer. I know you started work late today and you've got an early dart, but do you mind doing a few hours before you get off? Sorry, mate. Just sorting a few bevies out with Dave. All right, where are you going? Town somewhere. Oh, I might catch up with you later. Fed up of drinking round here. Oh, sorry, I'm going to have to chip you off, Kev. Why? It's not me, it's Dave. He wants to see me on his own. He's, uh, I've been going through a bit of an hard time recently. Thinks I could be of some help. Mm. All right. Yours too. Probably just end up being Grammy Juice anyway. Yeah, well, glad I'm not training for the boxing match. Yeah, uh, well, you got to count your blessings where you can. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. So what did happen then? Hope you can't keep shrugging like you weren't there. You know, I know you know. If you'd have pushed Joseph like you were going to, you would have hurt him. Hope, did you have anything to do with being locked into that factory office with the electric saw? It was an accident. I didn't put the key in Ruby's pocket. She must have done that herself. And did you set fire to the trampoline? How long have we got to wait? Well, to be fair, he didn't have an appointment. <sighs> Should we just go to a and &E? I'm sure Doctor won't be too long. Oh! oh it's no. just dusting. Wendy? Hi. Is everything all right? I'll take a wild guess, Liz. Who's that, then? Well, I'm not one to gossip. Oh, no, neither am I. That's his mum. It is legal, mum. Her and Michelle both had babies. And at the hospital, after they were born, they were swapped over. Oh, it's very confusing. Run that by me again. <coughs> uh, Zidane Nazir? Josh? Again? You knew I was only on half day today. <sighs> you are unbelievable. Relax, will you? My mum's already agreed to have the kids. Look, David, we need to sort this. It's sorted. I'm over the whole necklace thing. I am. You just want to get out and see your mate. You're so paranoid, Shona. You are unbelievable. It's all gravy, all right? Just chill out, will you? Auntie Finn. 
is. Mummy, someone's at the door. All right, Ho, you OK? Follow Daddy! me. Are you, kiddo? You all right? Mm. Uh, sorry, I, I just let myself in because... Uh... Sorry, I didn't hear you. I had the radio on. Hiya, Roy. Has he made you come round? I should sort of take the children to the cafe for an ice cream. Give you two a chance to talk. <gasps> ice cream? Do you want to go with Roy then? Go I've got colds. Well, you'll need your coats then, won't you? <coughs> Cheers. <coughs> Cheers, mate. He's gonna be all right, isn't he? I'll be fine, just build muscle. Some blokes haven't got your stamina, Davy lad. You know what I reckon? Well, I reckon if you can pronounce the word stamina, stamina, that's it. <laughs> then you've not had enough to drink. Get that down. You're all right. Another one of the lads cancelling. Can you believe it? You joking? Oh, well, I guess it's just me and thee. Shouldn't you be getting back to the wife, eh? Ain't no ring on my finger, pal. But and you got to sort things out with she who must be obeyed. Well, can we just have a show in a free zone today? All right, I'm sick of even thinking about it. What do you say, pal? Right, I'm off to the gents. And you're having the shot. I am not. This is so fit. I've just seen Eva licking the bowl. Oh, couldn't she just flush it like everyone else, huh? Oh, it's just so out of character for her, though, isn't it? I mean, lounging around watching trashy TV all day, eating the contents of eight five fridges, I just don't get it. I feel like I need to stage an intervention. What, cos she ate a pie? Toya, she ate all the pies and then licked the box. Oh, you know what this is, don't you? Gluttony. No, a uh, thingy, um, a break-up diet. Break-up diet? Yeah, well, she'll be all heartbroken over Adam, so she's comfort eating. Bet you any money. Well, you don't think she's depressed, do you? No. Well, no, yeah, she might be a bit down in the dumps, hence the breakup diet. I don't know, I'm worried about her. Oh, don't be. Well, I am. She needs to get a mojo back. Hey, Toya, will you just chuck us a packet of prawn cocktail? <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Hey, yeah. Uh... Hi. Been training all this time? Ah, uh, sorry, mate. Neck. You'd be like the Incredible Hulk by the end of the week. Uh, no, Zidane hurt himself. I had to go to a medical centre with him. Is he all right? Yeah, yeah, he'll survive. Did you see Ali? Uh, yeah, I saw more than Ali, actually. How do you mean? His other mum was there. Wendy? Yeah, they were having a massive barney. What about? I don't know, but they were proper yelling at each other. Liz said it had been going on for ages. I always thought they got on really well. Trouble in paradise, eh? Yeah, like... Oh, come on, mate. She's all right. Oh, she is. She's just always there, pecking me head with a, a big beak. She's like Big Bird. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I thought old soccer show was banned today. Yeah, it is banned. B A N D. Ah, oh, you mate. Like... I'll tell you one thing, I'm not as flat as you, because guess what? I spiked your drink, you loser. Well, who's the real loser here? Because guess what? I could sell and I swapped some over. I never did. All right, mate. What's what you doing? You what? You heard? You should be drinking pot with your mates on the street corner. You are a bit lippy, aren't you? Do you want a bit, do you? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. All right, let's just calm it down. It's just an accident, my friend. Very sorry, aren't you, Dave? Am I? You better have been. He is. All right. Well, I'm 110 percent Hundred and ten percent. Oh God, you remind me of my brother. You sometimes. You're always a voice to sense of reason, aren't you? Just get a life, will you? I'm better looking, all right. You know, stretch better looking. <coughs> Thank you for texting me. Hope's results. I know what I did was wrong. And I have nobody to blame but myself. I should never have tried to defend what I did. It was ridiculous. Well, I'm sure you had every right to say some of the things you did to me. Not all mind, but... Club we're talking. You really hurt me. And I'm 
I'm sorry. I will say it a million times if I have to, and I will mean it every time. But you walked out of here because of Ruby's behavior. I mean, we've let things slip. I do know that. But we can get it back. But all this started because of Ruby. Well, No, it I... did. But you've really hurt me and all. When you said that she was just my daughter and not yours, it... And Gemma just seen her as a kid and not some massive problem. I mean, you'd gone. You'd walked out on us when we needed you the most, especially Ruby. And I just thought we was over. I couldn't see any way back if you didn't see her as yours, and... I was confused. I still am. Oh, Tad. No, I'm just trying to be honest with you. Ruby's not a problem. No, she is, and I know she needs she help. She doesn't. I've already spoken with the doctor. They're going to refer her to a therapist, and we'll get to the bottom of it. I really want this family to work, Fizz. We'll go and say something. And Coronation Street is back in half an hour.